the Redbridge £70 million challenge. Over the next four years, Redbridge Council needs to work with a reducing budget and make £70 million of savings. As this will affect you, we want your views on how best to do this. Each year we deliver around 500 services to 288,300 residents in 102,000 households. You probably know we do lots of things like sweeping streets, collecting bins and recycling, removing fly tipping, managing parks and open spaces and dealing with planning applications. All of this is funded in three main ways. From the council tax that local people pay, from business rates paid by local businesses, from grants from central government. Our costs are also partly covered by fees and charges to service users. What we're facing. The government is severely cutting the funding it gives us. Since 2009, we've lost £60 million of government funding. By 2018, nearly £100 million will have been cut. This means half our direct funding from government will have gone. This is coupled with an increase in demand for our services, which puts extra pressure on our resources. Our population is predicted to rise by almost 22,000 by 2018. The number of children alone is predicted to increase by 10% between 2014 and 2018. As a result, Redbridge needs an extra 6,360 permanent school places. Usually this would mean extra funding, but the savings we need to make by 2018 mean we will actually have £927 less per household to spend on delivering services. We know everything we have mentioned is important, and we want to make sure that despite the budget cuts, we continue to improve residents' quality of life and well-being. To do this, we will need your help. We'll be working closely with the police, public health, businesses and voluntary organisations to find more efficient ways of delivering services. You can help by letting us know which services are important to you and how you think we could save money as part of the Redbridge conversation. Taking pride in our local areas can also help save money. Reducing fly tipping could save £280,000 a year if people stopped illegally dumping rubbish on our streets. Reducing waste could save us up to £650,000 a year if every household put up 10% less for collection in their bins by recycling and reusing more. If more people took their rubbish home or used public bins, we could improve the look of our streets and reduce the cost of cleaning. We could also save up to £1 million by changing the way services are delivered. For example, putting more services online. We are ambitious for Redbridge. If we can make these savings together, we can prioritise the things that are important to you. We have already committed to improving leisure by building a new swimming pool, consulting on the possibility of a property licensing scheme so that we know where private landlords are and we can make sure their properties are safe for residents, reviewing all our enforcement activities so that we can make sure fly tippers, rogue landlords, fraudsters and bogus callers are caught and deterred. We know that as our budget shrinks, fairness will matter more than ever. So we'll be tackling poverty and inequality by making sure our services are targeting those who need them most. We'll also be raising money by building new homes and encouraging new businesses so that we get more money in council tax and business rates. Tell us what you think. Visit our website to take part in the Redbridge conversation and find out more. www.redbridge.gov.uk forward slash conversation.